Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot insists her team is working to stop an influx of people facing homelessness from sleeping at O'Hare Airport. Now, while people sleeping, seeking shelter at the airports is not new, especially in the winter, advocates for the homeless tell the Tribune a shortage of shelter beds in the city is making the problem worse. Images show people sleeping in the terminals with their belongings scattered everywhere. An airport janitor shared some pictures with us. He said people are smearing feces in airport bathrooms. We have taken and will continue to take the steps that are necessary uh, to move people out of the airports. The airports are a very different place than you know, on the street um, in an, uh, under an underpass. It's a secure location, and the message is clear from me um, to uh, the Department of Aviation, uh, the police department up there. We absolutely fundamentally cannot have people sleeping um, in our airports. The issue gained new attention this week when Fox News host Tucker Carlson ran a segment in which he said one of Chicago's most famous landmarks is being desecrated. Alderman Ray Lopez visited O'Hare this week to see the situation for himself. He joins us now. You said O'Hare is being turned into an indoor outhouse. Is it really that bad? In many parts of the airport and in certain terminals, it is very much mm -hmm. that bad where you're seeing the homeless using the the toilets to bathe themselves, who are relieving themselves wherever they're at. Mm -hmm. And this happens nightly. Two to three hundred individuals descend on the airport between the hours of 11 and 4 in the morning. And despite the mayor's utterances and the fact that she's received both $60 million this year from HUD to address homelessness and committed $35 million two years ago to put more beds available, we're still having this issue in the city mm -hmm. of Chicago. And over the years, homelessness and that issue uh, being a problem at O'Hare um, has been going on for years now. Why do you think, though, it's worse this time around than in previous years? Well, I think that we absolutely seen a decrease in the amount of shelter mm -hmm. beds available in the city of Chicago because yeah. of the pandemic and social distancing and all of that. And we have not kept pace to make more beds available. Yeah. The homeless will go where they need to go to find shelter, especially in the winter time. But what we can't do is turn a blind eye and pretend that it doesn't exist, that mm -hmm. this isn't what passengers are seeing as they deplane and what our families are seeing as they leave the and city. You think that that's what they've been doing at O'Hare, just ignoring it? I think that they are trying to pretend like this isn't as big a problem for people. I don't think the mayor realizes just how bad it is for people who are being followed, chased, and approached in the unsecure parts of the airport. Mm -hmm. Baggage claim is not a federally secure right. area, and you have homeless individuals who have mental illness or who have items on them that could put people yeah. in, at risk. And O'Hare spokesperson insists the airport is doing round-the-clock outreach uh, to try to make contact with people uh, who have been making a home for themselves at the airport. The solution, though, is not as simple as, is, you know, police just shooing them away. Our reporter, Eric Rung, was there this morning, saw officers, uh, you know, telling some people to move along. Half hour later, they were back. So what's your solution? I think what we need to do is to commit those dollars that we've gotten from HUD, $60 million this year, $35 million a few years ago, and start using that money. We've seen where this administration gets large pools of money to do certain things and never acts on it. We saw that with anti-violence where only 6% of the funds have been spent. And I think the same is going on here. We have the dollars to address this, to create shelters, to create safe space for these individuals who need help, who need the mental health resources to identify what their problems are. Mm -hmm. We just don't have the political will to act and that needs to change mm -hmm. post haste. Do you think it's something that can be addressed pretty quickly here within the next week or within the next few days or do you think it's something that's going to take time and it may be a year or months no, before we see a result? I, I don't think it will take a year. I don't think it'll take a month. We have a full department, the Department of Family and Support Services that addresses homelessness on a daily basis. We have contracts with providers, the Salvation Army. We can do this now but again, you have to have the will to act. All righty. And uh, it was your Twitter account that I think brought a lot of this to light with pictures you posted. I know you used to work at Midway Airport. So yeah. a little experience at the airports. Alderman Ray Lopez, thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you we both. We appreciate it. We appreciate it.